A Minnesota Health Institute will be studying how the COVID-19 vaccine impacts pregnant women. Health Partners Institute received $2 million from the CDC to help figure out if the COVID vaccine has any effects on pregnant women or their babies. Pregnant and breastfeeding women and children were left out of the vaccine trials, which is common in early medication research. As Kate Raddatz shares, the decision is difficult for expecting moms. We're pregnant, but like, and we're in a pandemic, so it was extra terrifying. Sammy and her boyfriend are expecting their first child this spring. While she doesn't know when the vaccine will be offered to her, she also doesn't know if she would take it. A first time parent, you're kind of like, you're so cautious about everything that you take and everything you ingest that you're like, what is a vaccine going to do? The CDC says pregnant women are at higher risk for severe illness, death, and possibly premature birth from COVID-19. But there is no formal recommendation on whether or not to get the COVID vaccine. It is available in the U.S. to expecting mothers who want to get it. The FDA and the Advisory Committee on Immunization Practices has uh, signaled that it's it should really be a decision made by pregnant women and their health care providers. Bloomington-based Health Partners Institute will lead a five-year project that looks at any potential risks of pregnancy and birth outcomes from the vaccine. The researchers will also review data to see if the vaccine impacts infant development. There are health care providers that are recommending it, and there are pregnant health care workers who have received their shots. There's no reason to think it won't work. Um, and there's no real reason to think that it wouldn't be safe. We just don't have the data, the evidence to support that. Kate Raddatz, WCCO4 News. The CDC says it doesn't believe that the vaccine would pose any specific risks to pregnant women. The American College of Obst Obstetricians and Gynecologists is recommending the vaccine for breastfeeding mothers.